And that's what we do. We blame people. And some of you think you're going to stand before God on judgment day and you're going to say it was my parents fault. It's the way they raised me. It was my husband's fault. It was my wife's fault. You see what they did to me down there. They're the reason I was acting the way I did. You can't do that. You, you're responsible for your actions. Okay? So remember that when you choose, when you choose to dishonor God, that you'll be held accountable for those moments, for those thoughts. Check this out, for those words. One thing that I don't hear too many churches and preachers preach about, but I'm going to tell you, anger is just as guilty as murder. Come on. You have anger in your heart towards your brother, you're just as guilty as what? Murder. murder. Ready for hell. Ain't that crazy? He doesn't even want you to dwell on the anger, amen? And the same thing you're looking at someone else's wife or coveting someone else's husband, when you desire that, when you desire that person, he said, you're just as guilty as adultery. Ain't that crazy? And ain't it crazy how social media will, and, and, and the things of the world, they'll, they'll, they'll portray something for you to entice and cover. That's why you have to guard the windows of the soul. That's why it's up to you to make a covenant with your eyes. And when you see something and you know you're going to want it, just get away from it. You know what it says? It says, flee sexual morality. Flee. And I walk away. Flee is like I'm running. When you see it coming your way, run the other way. Do what Joseph did. But you want to know why most people don't flee? You want to know why most people don't? Why they don't? Why, why they don't turn from it? Because they don't have the fear of God inside of them. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God, when nobody's looking, the things that you think about when you're laying on your bed, does it honor God? There's a man in the Bible who didn't have the Holy Spirit inside of him, but he had the fear of God. Potiphar. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph, right? And Joseph didn't have the Holy Spirit then, but he had the fear of God inside of him. And whenever Potiphar's wife came on to him, what did he do? He said, should I sin against God? That's the beginning of wisdom right now. If, you're, if you don't hate the things that God hates right now, and if you don't love the things that God loves, forgiveness. And there's nothing inside you that want to forgive people. And there's nothing inside you that want to speak truth to people. And there's nothing inside you that want to share with people. If you don't fear the things that God, that hate the things that God hates, then you might not be connected to Him. Right? So why deceive yourself? I didn't come to preach a message to make you feel good. I come to challenge you to grow. You hear me? I come to challenge you to grow. Because Jesus said, I want you to have fruit and fruit that remains. I wish I could tell you that everything would get all better when you come to Jesus. I wish I could tell you that everything's going to be cool in your marriage. Everything's going to be cool in your relationship. Your finances are going to be blessed. But sometimes that don't happen. When you come to Jesus, all hell breaks loose. When you get baptized, when you get discipled, it, it ain't everything made look. You respond better. But when Jesus got baptized, right after his baptism, right after the Father said, this is my beloved son who I'm well pleased with. The Spirit of God led him into the wilderness to be tempted for 40 days and 40 nights. Temptation that we all been through. And this Holy Spirit didn't say, hey, you got 40 days, get through this. He didn't tell him how many days. Just imagine what Jesus was, he was just going one day, two days, three days. It could have been two years. He just kept being faithful and obedient to his heavenly Father. So I don't know who this is for. You're in your wilderness right now. And you come to God and you surrender to God and things are all hell's breaking loose and you're like, man, I don't get it. Why is there, why am I being attacked like this? I don't get it. Listen, stay obedient. Stay faithful, whether you understand it or you don't. After the 40 days when he was when he was tempted, the father said, No more. He sent angels to minister to him. And then after that, watch this. He walked out that wilderness empowered by the Holy Spirit. 